What's up guys, we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're gonna be going over how to add shaders to Optifine 1.18.2. Now, if you watched my last video, and if you haven't, I'll leave the link up now. That will show you how to add Optifine to your Minecraft. And then obviously, once you've done that step, we can then go ahead to adding shaders. What I'll also do is I'll include on my website on here, it'll be on the helpful Minecraft or somewhere easy to find. It will also have some instructions. I still need to put them up as of this video, so they will be up shortly. Link will be in the description. Before we get started, if you have not got yourself a server yet, head on over to seekerhost.co. You're gonna be able to find yourself a great deal from a small server from you and a couple of friends to a very large server running multiple worlds mcpe servers bedrock or java all easy to change over so go check them out i'll leave the link in the description also so next up you're going to want to find yourself a shader um now there are lots of places that provide these uh, i actually use curse forge myself i do like curse forge i find it to be quite trusted um and i've never really had a bad file off there uh, with any sort of viruses or anything like that so i went on to curse forge download it from whenever you uh, wherever you like to get your shader from however um, and I will leave the link for this in particular one as well just in case you want to check it out um, just make sure that it does suit the game version so we're going to be doing this for 1.18.2 once you've got the correct one go ahead and download and you will then get a zipped file it may ask you whether you want to keep it or not if it does go ahead and keep it now what we're going to do is we're going to open our minecraft up and we're going to open it with the optifine 1.18.2 again if you haven't got to this step simply go back to the other video uh, it only takes a few minutes to install um, and you'll be able to get playing on it so just make sure you got that selected on the left hand side and we're going to go to play now whilst that's loading up i just want to show a second way that you can do it as well this is by actually going to the folder uh, before you load up minecraft because the way that i'm going to show it is actually within your minecraft so if you ever want to change it upload it or delete it you can actually do it in game as well however if you do want to do it manually before you're just going to go into your search bar on the bottom left if you're running windows you're going to type in a percentage mark app data percentage mark let's just go ahead and open that folder we're going to double click on the dot minecraft and then we're going to go down to shader packs the folder there and you can simply upload the zipped file there as you can see i actually have this uploaded myself so i'm just going to go ahead and delete it and we'll just also upload it in game but that's the way to do it without actually having to open up minecraft obviously when you do then open up minecraft it will be in your shaders folder now let's say if you're in game and you decide that you suddenly want to use a different shader you want to download it and you want to upload it there we can also do that quite easily so as you can see we're already running a shader on here however what we're going to do is we're just going to press the escape or pause option we're going to go to options and we're going to go to video from here you can go to shaders um, and you can see the current shaders that we have uploaded however if we open up our shaders folder we're going to get to the same place so now i'm going to open up my downloads i'm going to go to the downloads here we can see that i have it here so it turns out that i've just realized that i actually deleted the wrong one so let's just go ahead and delete the one which we're just about to upload as you can see also done it live on the screen on minecraft there so let's just go ahead um, and then drag and drop that into the folder right here so as you can see we now have it it's also on our shaders list uh, we can now go ahead close down any of these folders right here and just to clarify then i dragged it from my downloads folder onto the shaders pack folder um, now simply a case of just clicking it it will take a few seconds sometimes it looks like it's frozen um, however you'll see in the background there's a little change here um, there we go so shaders done click done and as easy as that we've now changed shader obviously visually that wouldn't have actually changed because i used the wrong one in the first place but either way that's how you change shader as you can see we've got a nice shader here if i go back to my options uh, video we go to shaders and i click the uh, chocker pick one there we're going to click that once it's loaded up we're simply going to click done and you should be able to see a little bit of difference here if i go back quickly there you go you can see the difference in water and that's how you can upload and change shader packs easily so thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit the like button uh, subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification if you like lots of up-to-date minecraft videos and of course if you've got any other ideas for videos leave it down in the comments and i'll make sure to get down to them so thanks again for watching Bye bye